LJ? Yeah? I really want to see the new recap review. Where can I go? Well, I'll tell you, little Johnny. If you head on over to Vessel.com forward slash the TTV channel, you'll find all of our content, recap reviews, mock spotlights, and more on Vessel a week early. That's right, a full seven days before we release it on YouTube. Not only that, but content from tons of other creators all across the internet. In order to access it, you need to sign up for early access, which is only $3 a month. It's a really great deal, and it helps us create better, higher quality content, and it gets you guys in on the loop a whole week early. Wow! I'm gonna go sign up right now! You do that, little Johnny. You do that. Five, four, three, two, one, sink! Hello, everybody, and welcome to the TTV Brick Feed Podcast, Episode 7. Hey! Yay! Got it right this time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you mean. This time? Broken. This time, there's well, no, they there's only know. once. They just <laughs> you're, right. Once. You're, you're right, they don't know until you mentioned it, rookie. <laughs> yep. You I always loved it when you guys broke the immersion on podcasts. So. Yeah, well, the immersion well. doesn't love it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're the only one. Yeah. Fans, write in the comments if you like it when people break the immersion. Fans, we're going to start censoring the comments. Speaking <laughs> of breaking the immersion, <laughs> let's uh, go to our name order right away instead of segueing. Wow. Because wow. there's no more immersion to break. I'm Kahi. I'm Mesa. I'm LJ. And I'm Purple Dragon. And this is TTV Brickfeed Podcast. Again, episode 7. Brought to you by Discord. Not by Discord. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Discord sponsorship. We do use it. Okay. We do like it. It does yeah. happen. <laughs> it's brought to you by Vessel, by Audible, and by our shirts. All right, guys, I really do apologize. I <laughs> literally had no sleep last night. I wow. was gone all night. I was up all night doing some things with people for my, uh, for like as an extended birthday thing. I don't know. I remember the last time I did that, and it was two weeks ago, and I fell asleep during the podcast. So <laughs> be forewarned, <laughs> Kai. You're right. Hopefully, this is the same one that happened this time around. So what's been going on, guys? How's uh, how's it been? I was I was gone for a Things while. Things have been going pretty well. I've been gone from PTTV for quite a bit. Like I've had yeah. a lot of work stuff on Saturday recently, so I haven't been on a podcast in a while. Yeah, nothing much has been going on really. I um uh, I had a big revelation on the last podcast, where, like nobody was on for. It was like a four person show. Mm -hmm. Pessimist weird. pessimist Mesa or Pessinac is gone. Finally, Long live optimistic. Oh, my God. oh boy! <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. Um, uh, other than that, nothing much has been going on. Currently watching E3, having fun with that. I've been watching. Yeah, Agents so E3 is now, and they uh, they did like a lot of. They announced quite a, a lot of stuff. Yeah, One of which they did was... video games and stuff. <laughs> wow! So yes, yes, here that we is have kind of all, the purpose. Here we of have E3. all the people that watch E3 <laughs> and enjoy it every year, and here we have purple. Yep. <laughs> Literally, it's a tradition. We do it every year. We get together and we watch E3. Except mm -hmm. for whatever reason, like, it was on, it started Sunday this year. Has it ever started on a Sunday? No, no, no. I feel like it hasn't. It's always been, like, on a Monday. But, uh, one of the things they announced this year was all the new stuff coming to LEGO Dimensions. Yes, that has been really, really cool big news. And as soon as we get into the exclaiming, uh, explaining what sets they released, I, I have a little bit of bewilderment it's to so express. It's so unbelievably bizarre. It I can't really even. Is. You seem the one most shocked by this, LJ. Do you yeah. want to like read out the additions? Do you have a list somewhere? Consolidated uh, there list? is a list. Let me go ahead and pull that up real fast. Please do. That trailer, by the way, that trailer like blew my mind, and I showed it to all my friends last night, and they're l watching it too, and they're like, "I can't believe these many things are." It's in the craziest trailer I've ever. I didn't expect there would be, there would be like that big of an update to like, okay. the dimensions. I knew it's been doing Found well it. enough to continue, but it's a massive update. All right, go ahead and tell us what we're getting. Right. Alright, so what's officially been announced via trailer and press release, uh, it's been segmented. This is a list that was composed by Brickset.com. Uh, so from Cartoon Network, we're getting four character packs. We're getting Finn the Human with the Jake Mobile and the Ancient War Elephant. So that's from Adventure Time, Jake the Dog, Lumpy Space Princess, and an unknown third character pack. Uh, Teen Titans Go, getting Beast Boy and Raven at some point. J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World, Harry Potter, 
Voldemort, and then a third unknown character pack. Is that what they're calling it now? Hmm? Huh. Uh, that's what Brickset's calling it. And then we're getting two sets from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. One of them is the main character, and then an unknown second pack. And then here's where things get strange. Because we knew LEGO had the, the rights to Adventure Time, Teen Titans, and Harry Potter. But apparently now they have a bunch of, of rights to 80s classics, such as The Goonies. What? The, 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 who wanted LEGO? Okay, Gremlins. <laughs> What? A team. What? E.T. the extraterrestrial. What? Mission huh. Impossible. What? Oh yeah, I remember those that eighties movie, Mission Impossible. Well, okay, sorry, I I kind of got into the miscellaneous <laughs> stuff. Uh, no, I'm, I'm and, kidding. And finally, and this is the one that's really been throwing everyone for a loop. Sonic the Hedgehog. What? Oh, that, but that's what? not all. <laughs> that, that, that's only the stuff that we've absolutely seen. The other stuff Lego confirmed are Lego Batman movie, obviously. Lego City Undercover, mm -hmm. which is a game they released a while okay. ago. The Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> okay. Knight Rider. And what? And Beetlejuice. I'm really confused right now. Okay, like so I don't... I mean, granted, that's kind of cool that Lego's doing all of this stuff you didn't really think about. But at the same time, it's like... Why? The Warner Brothers... Like, I feel like Warner Brothers are like, all right, Lego, you can choose from these franchises to do something from, because we and haven't done anything all of them in years. And they was like, <laughs> yes, we'll do all of them. You well, know, it's like... gotten to that point. It's so big. It's just, like, expanding. It can do whatever. They have achieved is... the Marvel element, where, like, they can make a movie about a talking raccoon in a tree, and people will watch it, and it'll make a ton of money. They can make Lego A-Team. Who cares? They can make Lego Goonies. I don't even know what Goonies is. Okay, Lego that's Goonies. what gets me, though. It's like they took... Like, Gremlins, that makes a lot of sense. E.T. also makes a lot of sense. Those yeah, are very, e yeah, I, I can those, see Those are very big themes <laughs> and the big yeah, franchises. Yeah, like they're kind of and iconic. I, yeah, exactly. And there's yeah. a rumor of a, a Gremlins remake at some point soon. The Goonies? What are is Goonies? I, I literally don't it's even a, know what that is. It's of basically like, know, so. I think it's like child Indiana Jones. I was just going to say that. It's like kid Indiana Jones. But I haven't like a, watched a it myself. a bunch of either. Indiana Joneses, and they're all children. And they're all different, uh, different. Different. And they just different. different. Well, now I'm speaking like the character. Though, the, the thing is, though, it's not any of the actual children that they announced as being a set. It's apparently a character named Sloth. <laughs> yeah, no, I saw that. It's the guy with the Superman shirt, right? Yeah, it is. That's like, okay, that's kind of interesting. For, from all of these, I'm amazed. <laughs> I'm really amazed that they didn't have, like, spy kids thrown in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am mm. too. That's something I would actually know. But then again, a, a team Lego A team. <laughs> Who wanted that? I, I to be fair, I'm kind of looking forward to a Lego Mr. T. Like, uh, not gonna lie, I'm a little, I, it was really little, funny though. I love what they did the the word play in the trailer where he's like talking to Doctor Who and he's like says something something foo, and, uh, but it's who. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I pity the who. Uh, yeah, Why? I think whatever. That's, he, that's what he always says, right? I pity the fool. Yeah. yeah uh, so Doctor Who is also in not Doctor Who. I'm sorry. Oh my. I apologize. Gosh, Connie. I apologize. The Doctor. I I was gonna say Doctor Who is, in, which is technically correct. Doctor Who, the licensed property, is in Lego Dimensions, but the Doctor is the character I'm talking about. Uh, they. Um, I mean, that's already been been that way. They've had that character. They, it's out right now, actually. Yeah, I know. I, I'm just like, I'm talking, I was just going to lead into like all the stuff that's already in here. Like, oh, you know, yeah. the doctor's already in here. You know, all the DC properties are in there. Right now, I just bought Cyborg, the level pack. I don't even have Lego Dimensions. I just wanted the Cyborg minifigure. Uh, so I bought Cyborg. I'm going to be probably buying a couple of these as well as, can, you know, depending on how much they cost. Like Sonic, probably going to buy Sonic, not going to lie. I'm just, Lego well, Sonic it, is just, you can't, you can't give that up, you know? It's weird. So weird. Oh, gee. It is weird too. Like they they got all these seemingly unconnected franchises, The Simpsons, you know, like Harry Potter, all these things that shouldn't be together, and they they've just kind of like pushed them all together, which yeah, is that's cool like and also a kind little of the interesting. Point of the game, though, it's like all these different things are coming together, so it's like they don't necessarily right. have to be like perfectly related, but it is still well, I guess kind like, of weird. It's still not in the thing where. I guess they're not in the same area of stuff. Like, you you think in your head, you're like, it would be really cool if, like, Harry Potter and, like, Lord of the Rings had a wizard standoff. But no one's like, man, you know what I've always wanted to see? Jake the Human and Mr. T 
<laughs> they should have a crossover. That's what I've always wanted to, like, really... Like, you're, you're, you're right, same, initially, like, people thought it was crazy. The main selling point was, like, Gandalf, Batman, and Wild Style, and it's so crazy you have these three characters, but now... You can have Mr. T, Harry Potter, the Powerpuff Girls, Lloyd the Green Ninja, and <laughs> Night like, Ride. That's another Night thing. <laughs> I'm looking at a poster, and I'm going to link this real quick. Freaking I'm looking goodies. at a poster they have for LEGO Dimensions, and you got to scroll down on the article. And it's I'm looking through all of them. How many of these IPs are LEGO? Mm, like, not how many. many of these are original LEGO IPs? Because it's getting to the point, the advertising, it doesn't feel like it's a LEGO game, aside from it being Lego. There's very little Lego company involved. It's pretty yeah, much like it's just gotten Ninjago, Ninjago. Chima, but like, Well, I mean, to be fair, though, that's like... It's interesting, too, that Lego has become such a licensing giant that it's able to pull. Like, this is... To the point where, like, you can have something in Lego and it's considered, like, enough of a parody that they'll make it work. For instance, Star Wars was in the, the, the Lego movie and Batman got on the Millennium Falcon and drove off. And that's something that happened. Mm-hmm. And also, Superman and Shaq teamed up to fight, like, <laughs> these giant robots. Like, that was another thing that happened. The Lego, like, putting stuff in Lego kind of gives it an excuse for it to be, like, almost a parody of itself. Licensing and so they're able has to put become the forefront in. in a way nowadays. I do honestly feel like the only place we would ever possibly be able to see a Marvel versus DC standoff would be in the Lego movie. Yeah, you're honestly, right. that that's that's like that's to me if that's where like Lego Batman the movie ends up is with him fighting the Avengers, I <laughs> would lose my mind. I would just I would go and watch that movie again immediately. I would be. It crying. is a pretty fantastic like, era we are at. <laughs> hmm? It's a pretty fantastic era we're currently at. Yeah, it is kind of cool that they're they're able to mix all this stuff in. Also, you guys heard about uh, Disney Infinity shutting down, right? Vaguely, uh, yeah. but it's not Lego related, so the, I, I mean, well, I, well, I guess like <laughs> so some people say that it might actually be because right, it's like Lego Dimensions is doing so well, and, and Infinity was Disney not. just got. I mean, to, to be fair though, it might actually be directly because of it because a lot of these are Disney properties, aren't they? Um, not a uh, lot. A I'm are. actually, I'm only aware of several of them being Disney properties. Very few of them. Um, I'm trying to think. What what are Disney properties actually? Uh, Marvel? Mickey Mouse and stuff like that. I mean, well, technically, uh, in you're Lego not Dimensions. Wrong. I don't know. What's I'm in Lego Dimensions? That's that a, they had they recently Disney had the uh, the Disney minifigures, but they're not in Dimensions. Maybe that'll come in the future. I don't know. Well, I that's why I'm saying I I feel like. Infinity put a uh, like a hold on dimensions. They weren't able to do Star Wars, which is a hallmark of Lego. No Marvel stuff. No any of the stuff that's owned by Disney. No is no Indiana Jones. You know none of the, that stuff. I feel like Disney when they did Infinity, they made one vital like r- critical error. I did not realize this until they were talking about like why it was failing and why they're shutting it down. Did you know that if you get Disney Infinity, you can't put other characters in the other worlds? Yeah, and you can have that, them I remember you mentioned that, and like that was so stupid because it's like, what's the point of like having this game where all these right. characters quote unquote come together, but like they don't actually interact with like each other's worlds and all right. that? Right, I like, think there's there's like they were going to do that in a future update. That's what I read. I haven't played the Disney Infinity myself, uh, but that they like they had it sectioned off, and I felt like that legitimately cut down on what they could do with that platform. And also the fact that Disney Infinity they they keep telling like saying they're toys they're not toys they're just statues. Same thing with yeah. Skylanders. I don't There's know. Like, that is definitely a benefit. Well, that Lego has is actually kind of fun. Lego but... is an actual toy. You could actually play with these things after you're done. You can't do that with whatever you know. Yeah. I, I can't imagine how you can play with Disney Infinity. It's it's just a statue. It's, yeah. I, don't, I don't know you where the play value that is. display them in your fancy amiibo display case. Oh wait, they're not. Amiibos. <laughs> oh, okay. Amiibos. Amiibos. <laughs> I feel aren't even marketed as toys anymore. They're marketed as collectible statues, and people freaking love them. They, yeah. they, Amiibos are another thing. Amiibos have, like, taken over the market. They're crazy popular. That is true. Apparently. And Nintendo also did some, like, you know, some of their trademark make things unavailable and, like, shorten the supply so that people really have a high demand for these. Yeah. They did that for Wii back then, so. But, uh, like, the mentions, I feel, is doing really well. Um, I know Skylanders had a new wave, but I feel like... D- the mentions should be doing the best out of all of them. That's just bias. I have no nothing to back that up with. <laughs> Outside of the fact that I feel like it's an actual toy. 
I mean, yeah, kids there's would more want value to, to get it. Lego. Mm-hmm. And I do see like Lego also being like, hey, you know, parents, remember this thing from when you were a kid? You can play that on Lego Dimensions. Remember you the like the Lego Goonies? Goonies? <laughs> remember the Goonies? Remember the, remember the Goonies. Gremlins? Remember E.T.? Remember A-Team? Remember Knight Rider? Something should not be... I actually remember Knight Rider. Knight Rider's so cool. Something should not be... What's a, what's a really good franchise should not be, like I said? Uh, a good franchise should not be. Wow. Uh, no, Gremlins is... Gremlin, I can see Gremlins. I can kind of see it, but like some stuff just doesn't translate well. well. I can see you it know, like, it's on the poster, but Robocop. like... Robocop. I mean... I, I, I wouldn't eh. really want a Lego Robocop. Yeah, Robocop. Or like, um, like Terminator wouldn't work. Well... Terminator... Oh, I actually take that back. Terminator, Terminator, might, Terminator would yeah, work Yeah, Terminator, Terminator well. might work. Um... Robocop is just you just want that minifigure for the Robocop. So I guess Robocop sh- could show up in Dimensions. That would be yeah, that would be possibly. okay. I, mean, I think that'd a, be worth that's it. That's a really mature f- t- uh, like franchise. Though. Yeah, it's true though. Like I don't know, friggin' Lego the Breakfast Club. What? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> probably not set with Lego. Right? Lego Ferris like, uh, Bueller. <laughs> oh Ferris Bueller's day off. Lego uh, Hangover. Oh uh, yeah, one, that one will work. Um, uh, let's try what? to keep it kid friendly. <laughs> <laughs> These are just movie titles. You can IMDb them if you want. I mean, yeah. that's it. And uh, I'm but, trying to think of some, but I, I'm not. I'm gonna. Refrain. Anyhow, that's just kind of like right. <laughs> Basically, Lego Dimensions. Does anyone here actually own it or know nope. some kid that? My owns brother it? does, but he like never plays it. I I don't. I know a family that had Skylanders, and they don't play mm. that anymore either. Yeah, I so used I'm to play Skylanders. It was actually pretty fun. I'm wondering where like where this market is. I guess. That is like the kids continue to play it and continue to buy stuff. It's huge because Skylanders has done crazy and Lego Dimensions is doing really well. Also, wouldn't do a year two. Um, Sipping of Infinity. Infinity did well by most standards. It's just Disney. It didn't meet Disney standards. Where is this market coming from? Where is it going? I don't you know? know. I think it's going into the ground. I- it's like my my friend was playing. I went over to my friend's house. He was playing. Uh, what's it? Guitar Hero. Hmm. And I was like, oh, I remember when that was big. Is this going to follow that same trend where, like, the toy that turns into a game thing kind of, It will be popular you know. for a time. It will fade away right. and it may come back in the future. That is how things tend to progress in terms of, you like, know, fads If you're, like, stuff. ten years from now, you'll go to a yard sale and just have a whole box full of Amiibo, you know? <laughs> <laughs> remember when these were hard to find? Yeah. Right. You know... Since I, I just remembered, there are some other Lego themes technically in the game. Uh, most notably, one of them that actually got canceled, Shima. They yeah. have actually quite a few of them. If they brought okay. Shima into Lego Dimensions, what's stopping them from bringing some older Lego franchises in? And I'm not talking by like Biological G1, not, not Johnny Thunder, about. Johnny Thunder, <laughs> Exo Force. Ex- I was just gonna say Exo Force. Yeah. Oh, dude, Exo Force. Exo Force would, would be, be really phenomenal. Cool. It, it'd be great. Uh, well, what are some other really Lego themes you guys would like to see in, in Lego Dimensions? Knight's Kingdom. Knight's uh, King, yes. I okay. love okay. Knight's Kingdom. Knight's Kingdom, but not just Knight's Vikings. Kingdom. Like, the actual, not the actual Knight's Kingdom. There was a Knight's Kingdom before it, but, like, the one that I grew up with, which had, like, all the actual, like, they had Knight, named characters. Knight's Kingdom 2004 is what you're thinking. Yeah, yeah, that one. I was with, with like, Vladelek and, uh, that like, Jayco and all these. Raskus, oh, and they all have like they all have the, the animal theme stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really love those. That would be cool. as a kid. These are like they're my favorite things. That you know, actually, I followed other books and stuff. You know, in a kind of interesting sense, uh, uh, Knights Kingdom was kind of like a construction theme that was also a. System it really kind of was. It was yeah. like the Chima before Chima, where it had system yeah. as the primary. <laughs> But alongside it, it had like the ultra build figures. It had, yeah, it literally yeah, it had, like, had ultra, ultra build builds. figures, except you could connect like uh, regular system stud things to it, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, they were yeah. system compatible. And it, they right. actually had a the like the joints they had were actually really cool. The ratchet because joints, could, yeah, yeah, they're a ratchet. They uh, that is something I don't know if I'd really want to see back, like you know, in full force. No, but no, no, I no, do. No. I did see the benefit in having that for posing, especially. You could Definitely. really pose those characters oh, really yeah. well. Very like, nice. They would because, like, hold you know, their the form because they would yeah, just like they would click. hold it. Right. So that, that, that's a that's a franchise I love. Growing I think up. I'm, I'm I think people to think would enjoy others. seeing Monster Hunters back. I hear that was it has mm, uh, like a slight I hear that cult they following. Like that, yeah. But <laughs> they they're definitely going to do a uh, like a movie too. One obviously with like oh of course they're gonna do a whole wave of those they're they're gonna milk yeah definitely they're gonna milk like a movie um 
whatever older themes would be great for. There was a period in time where Lego was doing a lot of stories with their themes, and those are the characters that really stick with me. Because like yeah. some of the other stuff, like Mars Mission, was all right, but I, I, I don't loved remember any Mars of the Mission. characters. There was a game. There. I liked. Yeah, yeah, that game was like an RTS. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I played that all oh, the time. Oh man, I love that game. Yeah, it was so much fun. Dude, remember Junkbot? You ever play Junkbot? Ah, I the Lego? tried getting into Junkbot. Wasn't Dude, really. Junkbot was one well, of my. It didn't grab me. One of my jams. I did play that RC game though on Lego.com. Like, mm. yeah, like you took the RC car and you drive it around like the Lego Toys R Us esque store. And you're like doing sick tricks and getting these stars and. I I, I never games... played any Lego games that weren't by Oracle. Uh, Man, I used to play Lego really games not? all the time. I'd you play missed, like you the Lego the Dino the games ones. where you had to like oh, hunt the Lego Dino, Dino Attack. Dino Attack. <laughs> yeah, 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 I remember that. That was a great game. That was, oh, that was cool. That was awesome. Awesome. I know. When you're okay, when you're a kid and you have nothing else to do but go online and play like stupid flash games, Lego was like a great source for having so many awesome games. They had a mm-hmm. lot of fun games. Knights Kingdom had so many games. I love those. I'm uh, so the- frustrated with Alpha the Knights Team. Kingdom games. Do you ever play the Alpha Team games? Like I did. Every, like, I, that did. Yeah. I did. Very hard. Over? I, that's another good franchise that, that should come in the Lego Dimensions. Alpha Team. All the ones that like have names of characters I remember, I'm always like, yeah. Like, uh, mm-hmm. wasn't it like Dash and then like, uh, o- 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 Oleg? What was his name? Sorry, I have I, no I, idea. Old Joel. Not familiar Old Joel. with him. Because it was Lego backwards. And it was like, that was the, the main villain of, uh, of Alpha Team. And they had those cool sets that like, could turn from one vehicle into another. Yeah. You know, like you would like pull the wings down and stuff. Yeah. So there's yeah, actually a lot of good. franchises that Lego yeah. could pull for Lego Dimensions. And of course, Knowing us, we'd love to see Bionicle at some point. I would totally get. <laughs> if they did, like, imagine uh, a Taku little Taku minifigure. A Taku. Oh man, yeah, yeah, little Lewa, down, little Lewa down minifigure. With Bionicle hashtag up with Hero Factory. Oh, here we go. the minifigures. Get it in here. Uh, well, I mean, technically speaking, Hero Factory would be good for Lego Dimensions since they do have Lego uh, that minifigures. For mm-hmm. for the heroes, but technically, so, honestly, does, like so the main G1, thing, like the, the, the main thing Faraka. that would stop a lot of these things from being made is just how many people would recognize this and be nostalgic for it. I would honestly say that a lot more people are nostalgic for the Goonies. I mean, than freaking Alpha Team, you know? Goonies, though. I mean, real. I who, I, who listen, in I'm the with world you. Ask for I'm Lego you. Goonies. <laughs> But they were more likely to recognize the per- the the Goonies minifigure than like the Alpha See, Team minifigure. See, I'm not. I feel I'm, like Johnny Thunder is something that someone they should bring back. Johnny Thunder is a like I feel more iconic than the rest. You know the the ever the Lego. Uh, I I actually like mascots. don't. I don't know necessarily because in the case of Bionicle, Bionicle was a worldwide phenomenon when it came out. And, and sure, Goonies is a cult classic. But the freaking Goonies, man! <laughs> it's the and Goonies, Because you see, Lego is doing a really great job with this and getting all these IPs because they're appealing to two different markets. The older right. 80s, 70s, 90s uh, individuals who are going to look at that and be like, well, that's really awesome. That really, that, that gets to my inner nostalgia. And Lego <laughs> fans. Obviously, their fan base. It's Lego. Back, they're going to be back interested. Back in 2013, they put up a, some dude put up a Goonies 30th anniversary set on Kusa and it got Back when it was still Kusa, I think, and it got 10,000 uh, supporters. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is And then sick wasn't approved. Son of a gun. It was not actually approved, so. Man, oh, wow. You know, I feel like a lot of the, the stuff that the fans asked. Lego just, sh- like, put them in the Lego Dimensions folder. Yeah. Because a lot yeah. of stuff I mean, they asked yeah. for is coming out now, but in Lego Dimensions. A lot of the, you know, it's... the things that were, which gives me hope for a uh, Lego Dimensions Firefly pack. Make it happen, Lego. <laughs> Make it happen. Oh, yeah. I would, buy, I would buy that so bad. I yeah. would buy Lego Dimensions and that. Lego oh, needs for... to partner with Nintendo. They're a match made yes. in heaven. I think hey, if if it I... wasn't for Amiibo, they would be. Oh, it would be so I, nice I think to you have. Guys, actually hit it there. Lego, Lego Digimon. Yep, that's the future. No. Yeah. Please. Is there something from your childhood? Okay, is there like a day. movie? Is there a movie from like your childhood, like that you would that you think Lilo would make a good Stitch. Lego Dimensions pack? Bionicle well, there Mask of White. Oh my gosh. Okay, Rubber you know shadows. what, guys? Come on. <laughs> why do I, I ask you questions? Te- technically, why do I, why do I they, try? They already got the Rise of the Rookies. <laughs> they already got Lego, uh, Lilo, and Stitch kind of halfway there. Yeah. They got the Stitch part. Yeah, we got Lego got Stitch. Stitch and he's the only one who matters. <laughs> um, there you go. What's, I'm trying to think of like just like, kind of like a, a small like standalone-ish movie that would be really cool to see Space in Lego format. Oh my god. Space Ah, oh, jeez. I don't really have a whole lot of childhood movies that are not Bionicle. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, like, 
And I I'm mean, sure like, if I looked at the my, list. My favorite movie of all time is the Lego movie, but gee williker, they already got that done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really liked like old Disney movies and stuff like Lion King and Mulan, Lego Willy but... Wonka and the Chocolate oh my... Factory. Eh, <laughs> no. Oh yeah. No, it's gonna be Lego Willy Wonka, Actually, but the the Tim Burton version. <laughs> <laughs> real, yeah, it'll be it'll be that one. I, actually, that would not make a bad level pack, to be honest. Like a giant candy world. And you have Willy Wonka. I wouldn't be thing. surprised if they be did that, that at some point. Yeah. Um. Let me see. Um, I, Lego, I really can't. Lego do a the whole Muppets. Lot. Lego. Nah. Yeah. To be honest, what? I swear. To, okay, okay the... when they come out, if, if they do Lego Minions, I'm done. All right, that's <laughs> that's where I draw oh, no, the line. No, 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 no. Lego Minions, no. That's a matter. You've of You've lost time. my support, Lego Dimensions. Uh, that that is merely it, a matter. It of really time. is. Honestly, I, I'm trying to think of childhood movies that they could do. They really got pretty much the whole handful of them. I mean, Mission Impossible. Uh, a Knight Rider is a big fan of the show. Knight Rider. Uh, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. They already I guess did it's that, under though. Disney. Not for uh, Dimensions, no. Uh, not for Dimensions, yeah. So that's... Oh, dude! Last Airbender. They could bring that back. You're finally. right. There we go. Ooh, yeah. That would something. be amazing. And Legend of Korra, too. Legend of Korra. Lego, like, like one of the, the Ghibli movies. You know, like Lego Spirited Away or something. Man, that cool. would be amazing. That would be awesome. Ghibli. Oh, <laughs> eh. <laughs> I guess, like, I've seen some of the Ghibli movies and... Yeah. Yeah, it could Ghibli. happen. Ghibli! Star Trek? <laughs> <laughs> Star Trek, yeah. yeah. There you go. Well, yeah, no, that could happen. I could see it. I'm trying to I think could, of like childhood too. stuff too, but it's like I, yeah, it's I, hard I to think about. You gotta like childhood. look at like a list of stuff, you know. Animal Crossing. That was a big part of my childhood. Pokemon, Bionicle, and Animal Crossing were basically just like my childhood. You know what? I I agree, Purple. We do need that. We need the Animal Crossing Lego sign, and we do need System Bionicle Lego Dimensions and Lego Digimon. That's a great idea. Now that the Infinity is going under, I want them to expand and do like a bunch of Marvel Ooh. stuff in Ooh. Infinity that like I do want they, it, that won't fit I really in the see set. like like think about it. They a can Marvel do all sorts versus of, DC. They, that too, but like they can also do tons of, like MCU content that like they couldn't actually make at Lego sets based off of. They could do like Lego Daredevil and have like Lego Daredevil Agents versus of Kingpin. Oh. Lego Agents of Shield oh. have, have, have a mini bus and have like Coulson and Daisy. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Oh, I can man. see it now. Great. You'll have the Daisy minifigure, and she's, you know, she'll be whatever. But then you'll have the Coulson minifigure, and he'll have two headpieces. One of them will be kind of like the half-balding oh. thing, and then the other will be like his head split open to reveal his brain. <laughs> spoilers! No. Oh. Yeah, you're lucky I got to that part already. Yeah, spoilers. Also, spoilers that Daisy exists. So, uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Way to, you don't know who way that to is. That, guys. Daisy, Whoops. you don't know who it is. Ah, <laughs> oh, darn. I forgot about that. There, there definitely needs to be some Star Wars, Star, uh, Star, Star Wars stuff. Wars. There definitely needs to be some Star Wars. I, I don't know, man. Um, I'm pretty sold on uh, Digimon buildable monsters. Oh, yeah, nailed it. Well, if, okay, if they have dragons, then I won't complain. Yeah, that's what, that's a ton what, of dragons. Okay, listen. Let's be real, right? That's what they should have done for uh, Mixels. They should have made it like, oh, it's like Pokemon Digimon. Yeah. It's like, you know, a collectible, buildable I mean, monster thing. That's exactly what they did, though. Except instead of like... It's like stupider. Well, I don't like know about sillier, stupider. I, I think guess. it's sillier is a good way of putting it. Yeah. If they did, if they partnered with some video game stuff, that'd be cool. Like oh, Halo, Lego, like you know. <laughs> well, they can't Mega do Box that. already has Halo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Mega Box. The, now, not right. to mention they wouldn't do that because it's kind of violent. Uh, well, well Lego's I mean, becoming more violent. I, I, study I, show. I mean, yeah, I say that, <laughs> but but then we see the minifigure fourteen, or the the minifigure pack, and there's like the spy with the gun, and so I don't know. Yeah. Maybe they would. Yeah. Lego Matrix. Oh, where? Nope. Oh. Too many guns. Way too many guns. Well, we don't. We don't know. We uh, don't know, man. I'm fairly confident it's they wouldn't do the Matrix. It's a new Lego I'd, Overwatch. I'd oh, listen, I would buy that. Yeah, I need, I'd buy I need all the Blizzard themes. You know, you watch Lego Mega World Blocks of Warcraft. Is gonna snatch that up. I'm gonna be so mad if Mega Bloks does Overwatch. No, 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 no. no Me Mega Bloks does a good job with their minifigures, so I think you'd actually enjoy it. Yeah, you know. Really? Yeah, I, Mega Bloks has gotten better. Yeah. I, I hmm. begrudgingly admit on the Lego AFOL podcast, which <laughs> has just bombed because everyone stopped listening to us. <laughs> no, we said that. Well, but we're going to do so honestly, much those, stuff with Mega Bloks. We recently Spartan... saw the, uh, the RVB uh, episode, Red vs. Blue, where they actually did it all on Mega Bloks, and that was the biggest indicator for me of why people could prefer Mega Bloks over traditional Lego for like stop motions and stuff. There's so much stuff you can do right. with those figures that you just can't do. <laughs> 
I mean, like, I still think in terms of quality of brick that Lego is oh, better definitely. than Lex. Yeah. But I, it is hard to argue against the, like, posability and range that those, uh, what do you call them? Micro figures? What's their name for them? Yeah. Whatever the, yeah. the mini figures that's, that's that it. Megablox has, they, it's hard to argue against that. I got some for free at RTX, like, two years ago. Nice. And they were really, I mean, yeah, they, it's funny because the one they gave is, uh, just a, a normal, generic, you know, like, uh, Spartan that's blue. But because it was at RTX, it was like, oh, it's church. Wow. It, it was, it was pretty cool. <laughs> Clever. Yeah. I used to collect like, right, the right. Mega Bloks dragon sets because, you know, dragons. And I have like a ton of the knights and stuff. And I know it's like that was like the like, older dragons. ones. They would kind of break, like their limbs would break off. But like as the years went by, they would like stop doing that. So that's a good Didn't thing. Didn't they have a. Uh, like a construction action figure of Halo, then Mega Box some of that was like yeah. used magnets and stuff. I Anyone really get those? Something like that. Nah, I, I, I never got one of those. I honestly would have like if they came out now, I would have uh, bought one of them and see how they stacked up to construction nowadays. But uh, yeah, you know, it's just kind of how it goes. So, uh, anyone else have anything to say on that? Anyone comment on the? I like it's the cool. Beast Lego Boy I don't even know. Mini figures. I don't think I'll actually be buying them, just because they're expensive. But I uh, I'll be getting Sonic maybe. And my friend loves Adventure Time, and he said he might get one of the Adventure Time ones. I'm I'm not huge into it. Guys, Lego what? Rick and Morty. Oh my uh, god! Definitely not. What? Yeah, that's no, never man. happening. But well, uh, see, they have Lego actually, Simpsons, yeah, and they're I not going to have Lego Rick right. and Morty. They have Lego freaking Simpsons, and that was a huge controversy. They would totally gun for Rick and Morty. Yeah, it's not like it's not like Rick carries an actual gun; it's just a portal gun, right? Well, I mean, yeah. Is, which reminds me, Lego Portal. They did that. They did do that. They did do Lego Portal as well. Which means they <gasps> did a uh, Lego Half Life Three. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Why Actually, you know what? Lego Team Fortress and what? What else is there? Lego. They're not gonna do Lego. Uh, I, I was about to say Lego. What's the military Overwatch, one? What's it called? I keep, I keep on thinking Overwatch is a, a Steam IP or a, a what's no. it <laughs> called? No, what, what's it? They do have a military one. What's it called? What's the Steam IP? Like the Steam IP that's like a uh, or the Valve IP. Uh, uh, it's Dota. IP. Dota. Oh, no, 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 no. It's like. Well, I mean. They do have Dota, so like a Dota. Counter Strike. Counter Strike. There we like go. Like a Dota could that. work. They need like franchises with lots of character designs that are cool, and Dota would fit the yeah. bill for that. Dota uh, and yeah. Overwatch. Lego Fairly Dota. Cool. I, I can Steven see Steven Universe. That could okay, work. we're done. We're done thinking of ideas. Oh, that would that's cartoon, be so that's happy. Cartoon Network, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> they did Adventure Time, doing Powerpuff <laughs> Girls. They can do Steven Universe. They are, they're oh, doing a lot of Samurai Jack. Have they could do Lego Samurai, Samurai Jack. Yeah, that'd be oh, exactly that's cool. Them. Steven Universe so would be pretty cool. Jack is coming back. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> wow. Lego Young Justice. Rip. Rest in peace. <laughs> Rip in tiny pieces. <laughs> Cut down All right, well, before it's time. While we're on the subject of Lego games, we should probably talk about the update that plug. just happened. <laughs> and thank you, Meso. We should do a plug for Vessel. Vessel.com slash the TTV channel. Where for the price of a poly bag, about two ninety nine, you can go and get all of our stuff for early access, uh, one week ahead of time. Uh, you do not need an account or need to pay to watch our content. You can go in there for free. But if you like to see some stuff ahead of time, you can pay that price. It's uh, two ninety nine a month, or it's twenty dollars for the whole year. So, you know, I, I saw some, enjoy that. I saw a comment like being very curmudgeon that you say price of a poly bag, and I'm like, well, that's really clever, though. I don't know why. Why is that a problem? Yeah, I, I, I thought. I personally thought that. The only objection I would have is, is that actually the price of a polybag? Or are they four now? It depends. Maybe polybags are a bit out. more expensive, right? It, it they depends like on where you get the polybags. So. Right. If you get it from lego.com after buying such and such amount, you get them for free. I mean. Yes. You know. And I will guarantee you, if you send us $50 worth of money to our PayPal account, we will give you a Vessel subscription for one month for free. We will definitely do that. You send us fifty dollars, we will pay for one month of your best subscription. That's a guarantee. <laughs> I will take that. I will make that happen. They sent us fifty dollars, we'd be able to pay money. a year. Uh, no, 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 no. Fifty dollars, we only pay in a month. Uh, wow. No, we're only paying you. We're only paying a month. Wow. We that's, that's, how, that's a poly bag. That's how it works. Like, no. That would be a great episode title of this is the TV podcast. You know, yeah. Fun fact, we can also like you can also uh get a free trial right now. We we have a link in the description. If you haven't yet signed up for Vessel, you can get a free trial and uh you know, for like a month and try it out and see how you Isn't like it. Like we have some Vessel exclusives. Not sure. Isn't it 
I I've heard uh the last email they sent they said they might they were making that a month but even still you can totally see our uh, exclusives there we have uh let's play of Undertale with Var and Purple which Ooh. they claim is superior uh and some people because disagree to uh, and then we have a uh, game dev with literally everybody else all the important people are in game dev tycoon yeah so, including there me too. so oh well, you're in <laughs> oh man that <laughs> joke no longer it's has okay. its thing it's okay uh, she was only a replacement for clearly one of the superior of the uh, one of the two superior players you know she was only a superior why did you yeah. Have to replace him? Both, both oh yeah no people who bankrupt <laughs> I said like alright spoilers let's, literally let's, bankrupt let's not, your let's, company. Not, let's not talk about this let's go let them check it out uh, let's get back right. to Lego you can R- you can quickly. see possibly the funniest moment on uh, of our let's plays if you if you watch it there definitely go on. real quick before we move on I want to make a comment about something. Uh, I found this on... Uh, let me go get the name so I can source it. The Lego subreddit. And right. uh, this was... It's loading. There we go. Uh, this was pointed out by a guy on Reddit. I can has recon. So someone plays Halo. And he pointed out that on the new uh, Ninjago set, Ninjago Salvage Mech released this year. I believe that's a Ronin set. There's there's a nice, nice little familiar symbol on one of the stickers. And it's actually a symbol that was used... In one of the sets released for Exoforce. And we mentioned it oh, earlier. A callback. And, what? Uh, yeah, it's the uh, the Exoforce, the stealth hunter. It and is not the first time that. that they have done this. They did it at the uh, Ninjago Nindroid Mech Dragon as well. The left yeah. side of the Mech Dragon had a flag that I think had a sticker of the Split Mountain from yep. Exoforce. Yep. The mm-hmm. reason, yeah, though, right, right, right. that this is special, or at least significant, is because this is ten years... After Exo Force debuted. Oh wow. It's been oh. so long already. Two thousand six was ten years ago? Yep. I know, oh, right? Oh my gosh, yep. I still think it's two thousand six is my favorite year of Bionicle. Just for nostalgic reasons. I hate not 2006. because of, it was good. Two thousand six. I can't believe it's been ten years. It's two thousand six. It's, it's now, been ten 2000, years since two thousand six. That's when I that's when I first really started getting into Bionicle. I bought so I bought almost all of the, the sets of the yep. Toa in two thousand six. That's when I started losing interest in Bionicle. Look, look at it this way, years. When when we all meet, except for purple over here, in Brick Fair oh. in August, oh. it will be uh, a little over ten years since the Anika, Brutaka, Vazon and Fenerak, and Axon released. Yeah. Man, and meanwhile like, for Exo Force, ten year anniversary, like a decade, ten year anniversary for your beloved theme Exo Force. Congrats, have a sticker. <laughs> you know yeah, what? Sticker, yep. <laughs> I've just, I was just thinking. I've been, I really started getting into Bionicle in 2006, and this year I turned 21. So yep. by next year, I will have been a Bionicle fan for more than half of my life. Like the majority of my life has been spent. A Bionicle fan at I've that a, point. I've That's been a Bionicle same. fan since. I yeah, for was you guys, it's probably already there. Four. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've yeah. been a Bionicle fan since I was four. So uh. agreed. Yeah. Same here. <laughs> well, I mean, I knew I knew of it when I was like I consider I liked it as a kid, but I I only had like one set or so, and I didn't really the consider McDonald's myself Happy like Meal promotion a true was fan. The, was the I didn't consider myself best, a true fan until the McDonald's <laughs> thing was the best marketing promotion Lego ever did. It's got yeah, so many they, people in. Do you remember? Ten years ago, 2006, they did another McDonald's promotion. That sucked. <laughs> <laughs> it was the worst. Oh, I was like, like, oh man, there's Bionicle. I gotta get a Happy Meal. And it's just a statue. It's like a freaking amiibo. Oh, like, what I get it doesn't even do McDonald's. anything. It just like sits there. It doesn't there. do anything. It's just stands in front of a there. game. Stop talking about Bionicle. No. Lego Yeah, world. no, we, we gotta get back to Lego. Uh, Keywords, right. Lego. Lego. Well, Lego. speaking of uh, stuff that's related to Lego and games, uh, Lego World's just got an update. And a it's the update. update. This is what we It is not just for. a update. This is like the update that all of us have been waiting for. It is for, the update is the... which may mark the return of Lego Worlds with TTV. Let's play. That, it's not may, it's will. We are going to do a return let's look to it because the update is the online multiplayer update. Woo. Bring back Lego Worlds Let's Play. Which is like... This uh, I think it's the thing that they kind of should have had from word go. Agreed. Uh, I guess in the beta, you know, I understand it's a beta, and then when they released it, you know, they were doing all the stuff for single player. Uh, but I felt like the the hype for Lego Worlds was really big when it first came out, and it quickly died. I didn't see any like longevity in terms of like let's plays and videos made in Lego Worlds past that point, the same way that Minecraft had. Um, I also do feel like part of that was 
Minecraft had these limitations, which what you're able to build at the beginning, and LEGO Worlds did not have a survival-esque mode, you know, it was just all creative from the get-go. Which might make sense from the toy box perspective, it's just like, it's not that great to do Let's Plays of, so. Now that they've done multiplayer, things might come around, but I feel like the hype's down, died down quite a bit. Yeah. I don't know, what do you, what about you guys? Um, I, I think that, tried. like, I, I never played it, because I can't play it currently, I don't have a enough <laughs> computer to run it. But I think the Let's Play was good, although we found out quickly there wasn't a lot to do. My main problem always seems to be from observing the game, it did not seem like building was that intuitive or easy. It seemed rather mm, right. difficult yeah. as compared to like right. other online builder, LDD. And I, I think LDD. that they should change that, but I don't think they have yet, so I'm not sure as to... You know, I that like aspect. when it first came out, I tried getting into it, but like one, it barely ran on my computer. It was just like it was so slow and laggy. My computer yeah, was like no, screaming I did a let's the whole play that time. was horrifically laggy. Yeah, and then uh, like and whenever I tried released. to actually play the game, aside from the fact that it was lagging, I couldn't really figure out what to do. Like there was no like, well, I guess there was no map, but like there's not really a map in Minecraft. But like it, it was just really complicated to use stuff. Like building was hard and stuff like that. <laughs> Yeah, I you know, I feel like that's a genius in Minecraft. I honestly really do. Is that it had survival mode. I remember when Minecraft was first when we we played Minecraft, it was in creative mode and that the really old where you just placed blocks and you had water physics and that was it. And we would build these horrific brick apartments <laughs> in the middle of this stupid server, uh, and we just build them and it would be destroyed every night. So every night we'd go back on and build another <laughs> stupid brick tower. <laughs> <laughs> and they hated it. People, people on that server hated this because they were like, this is the ugliest thing. <laughs> and every night you're building it. It was the brick they, they, hotel. They put his, it was like a, yeah, the brick hotel. It was like a thing where there's a special server that would, all your creatures would stick. And there was a new server for like testing out people, you know, to see yeah. if they were good builders. And they finally put us on the special server just to get us to stop building the stupid brick towers. <laughs> They're like, all right, we'll let you in, but no more stupid brick apartments. <laughs> you do that, you're done. Just stop, please. Oh, man, good times. <laughs> but I don't think Minecraft would have survived if it was just creative. Yeah, definitely If it was not. just creative mode, it, w it would not have the popularity and longevity it has today. I feel like the restrictions of, like, you get there and you can't build everything off the bat. You have to start and you have to find your tools and you have to mine. You got to do that. That really aided Minecraft. And I feel like LEGO World is in this position where there's so much to do creatively, you feel like... You don't really know what you want to do. Agreed. You know, there's no like Minecraft. You get there, and your thing is you survive that first night. You make sure you survive that first night, and you don't starve and you don't die, and that's your immediate goal. And like, so Lego Worlds does not have that thing where you drop in the world and you have your immediate goal. And that that's an element of game design that it's lacking, and I feel it's taken away from what the game could be. Definitely, I agree I, with you there. Because like, really, in multiplayer, what besides just goof around? And obviously, we will bring back the let's play, and we will have fun. But like, what is there to do? What, Even what now, what we're gonna need to do Build for stuff. a let's play is we're gonna have to designate an enemy because I'm sure you can kill each other in this game or well explode. I people. vote Kahi. No, I was gonna vote myself. So okay. what you guys will do? You guys will like what? Yeah. So you guys are like you'll build your base, you'll build all what what now? <sighs> I'm gonna get uh, GGB Civil War. I'm gonna like get no, 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 no. I'm gonna get in Cole's like drill machine, and then I'm gonna come and try and find you guys and kill all of you. And destroy your stuff. We could do like no, we we could do like a uh, king challenges. Like Elder, you could build your base. You know the king LJ or you know the your kingdom whatever, and we Emperor have to complete LJ. all the challenges. Yeah, like you know, like the like the king challenges and uh and Rooster Teeth. I don't know what they call them. Like King Ryan and King Gavin. All that. They build the obstacle course, and you have to complete that. Oh yeah, the that tower. would be fun. If, yeah, yeah. If you have like a bunch of people, you know, doing that, I think that's the main thing. You need to make like a world seems to have some sort of survival mode, not because it necessarily needs it as the game, just to create some goals for people it's an element of game design they have this engine there with uh lego worlds you know or i guess we could just rebuild the modern map in lego worlds <laughs> <laughs> wow Bring it would be cool Minecraft. it would be an undertaking but it would be cool uh, don't play awesome. with my heart please it would be an awesome <laughs> adventure <laughs> but and i would love to do it if building was easier but it seems to be a little too hard yeah it's it. i mean you got to work with it it's lego worlds again is a really great base for a game but they it's not an actual game yet and i guess that's why it's in beta yeah but there's no like wow. you know it feels like it's just a toy box that's digital it doesn't feel like an actual i'm hoping game. it'll get there in time but regardless we're gonna follow it and make some more entertaining videos with it and i think it'll be grand 
Does stuff. anyone have any other improvements they'd like to suggest for like a world? More drawing stuff and, that, like, and maps and like limited worlds. I'm not really a fan of like uh, infinite stuff because you can get lost pretty easily. Yeah, a progression system. I think that was the biggest thing for Minecraft. You could play and like you could you get you get mine and dig and get your tools and upgrade your stuff, which would then allow you to unlock more stuff, which would then take you to do more stuff instead of just everything being open. That was my favorite thing to do about Minecraft, and it's why I always got really annoyed that they stopped doing that in favor of realms like the end that didn't really contribute anything meaningful. They were right. just like supplemental. It was like you went from wood to stone to iron to diamond to the nether to get the blaze stuff to go to the end to do blank. And right. with Lego World, They're... I would like, I know it's not a game about mining and crafting, but I would like it to have a similar sense of progression. I think they really dropped involved like the villagers too. I feel like the NPCs could have been really like, they could have up the both the AI and made them more of a an actual presence in that world. Agreed. You know, like the 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 actual villages are pretty uh they're pretty sparse and they they just kind of sit there and you, I guess you can trade with them and that's basically it. Agreed. But it would be nice if you could you know you know if in Minecraft you could convince the villagers to do different things if there are more mobs if there's like different factions that weren't just mobs you know like actual like evil villages for example that would always come and attack you or do that kind of thing and they always came in like packs and whatever. That just, would certainly be cool. Creative things like that. I guess we'll have to see where it goes. Indeed, all right. Let's go ahead and wrap well, up, I think. Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, real quick, if you want to buy a shirt, you can go to the store.ttv, uh, channel.com hey. and uh, buy one of our shirts. We used to have uh, two of them up until the end of June. We have the Knack and Jay shirt and the Savoy shirt. So feel free to get one of those there. Uh, you can also get a uh, audiobook at audibletrial.com slash TTV if you feel so inclined. Uh, there's a huge selection to, to choose from. I recently went on a road trip and I listened to a ton of stuff from Audible. It is... Possibly God's greatest gift to road trips. <laughs> no religious it, it, discussion. Oh, sorry. Uh, it is Mata Nui's greatest gift. That's a religious <laughs> discussion. This is, this, trips. this is a system podcast. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it is... What's his name? Uh, Kurt. Who's the, name, who's the CEO's name? Anyhow, <laughs> we're going to go and wrap up. See, my name is Kahi. My Come name on, is Kahi. <laughs> wow, I, I'm LJ. <laughs> and I'm Purple Dragon. No, come on, continue with the thing. Yep, it's What's too your late. Name? Well, I mean, my name is The Secret, so... <laughs> this was CTV Podcast Episode 7. Brick V Podcast! Oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> Guys, sorry, this is what happens when you don't this get anything. I'm done. I'm done. I apologize. I'm... I'm... Uh, yeah, I'm sleep. really messed up today. <laughs> Bye, guys. Goodbye.